Howdy folks, it's the Tall Turtle here, and we are practicing Minecraft today. And the reason why I say practicing is because we're getting ready for the 113 release in a few days. And I need to practice a little bit. I don't need to necessarily practice playing Minecraft, because I've been playing on the Parsovers Jr. beta test server, which we weren't allowed to record on. But I've been playing a lot, we just couldn't record on it. But what I do need to practice is recording. Because when you play and try to talk and try to record and try to keep things kind of interesting, it's a lot more difficult than just playing the game. For example, when I was playing on the beta server for Pulsar's Jr., it was quite easy to fight monsters and dig and do all these things, and it was just easy. But then you come into a world and you try to practice a little bit, and, um, or practice. See, I can't even see this I'm talking about. You try to record a little bit while you do stuff, it's much more challenging. It adds a whole nother layer to the game. So we're going to practice today. This world we're in, this is one of my really old worlds. I used to do a series on this, but we only did like 11 episodes because I got caught up in the Kappa Crew um, multiplayer server, and I played that and spent my time playing that until it faded away, and um, that's when I kind of took a break from Minecraft myself. So we're just going to kind of walk around this world a little bit. Notice I don't have any pressure plates. This is before I use pressure plates. We're just going to walk around this a little bit. I think when it gets dark, we'll sleep. And then when we, after we sleep, we will um, go down. Oh, I didn't do very much in here. Hmm. Then we will go down to um, the Mega Taiga Biome because I want to check out what my... Man, I need practice. See, I need a lot of practice. It's been a long time since I've recorded videos. I need to check out my texture pack add-on for Podzo. Because even though this is a super old world, we're in pre-8, 113. It's because I want to check a few things out. So that's what we're doing. We're just going to hop around here, trying to get used to remapping some of my keys. Because I was throwing weapons at monsters instead of <laughs> fighting monsters. And I'm going to check a few things out. I'm just checking frame rates. This is not... Optifying, so I just want to check out like the distance and the fog and everything. Oh yeah, that's my uh, first front door. Look, got some plants. My plant textures are in here. So if you haven't been watching my update videos on my texture pack, please do. I got three or four of those. This is a Redcraft texture pack that I converted myself for 113, and then I've added blocks into my own add-on texture pack. I'm not going to say any more about that because those of you watching my videos have heard me say the same thing many times. But in this world, this is what I spent a lot of my time doing was digging this thing out. I have special metals. Really? Not much going on. Special things going on in some of these. Hmm, that mutton looks terrible in game. I should do something about that. Beetroot though looks real. Anyway, I spent most of my time doing this and not much of my time doing other stuff because I was too scared of monsters back then. I mean, this is a couple years ago. I don't know if I ever fought, fought a single monster in this series that he did of this. Anyway, this is where I would do all my stuff, and I had it set up so if you do it just right, you can reach the next row up there, something like that. Oh, what was that sound? Oh, hmm. I guess I have Discord running in the background. I apologize if you heard that in the video. Anyway, this is all set up. I'm gonna do this totally differently though, because now you can do chests next to each other um, without making them double chests and making them trapped. So I'm going to redesign a lot of things. For example, I would never have a double chest of polished diorite, for example. But it might. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, that's what I spent my, most of my time doing in this. Is it getting dark yet? In this. Um, well, here's my precious stuff in this series. I don't even have a bow and arrow. Wow. I spent most of my time just digging, and I didn't really spend most of my time... Oh, let's go sleep quick before stuff comes out. Because I want to be able to go to the Mega Taiga biome without monster spawning. And right now I have a feeling they're going to. So let's hop up here and sleep quick. And you don't have to worry about phantoms now. I am not excited about that at all. But we'll do what we got to do. All right. So enough chit chat. I love my door open. See, I don't have pressure plates like I used to. Or I do now in my newer stuff. Let's just run and jump off this thing with my new run button. And jump. Oh boy. Oh, I missed. Oh well. Anyway, we'll survive. Let's go to this taiga biome, which is over there, but there's no real good way to get to it. I had a double fence in my sheet because these dogs... What's that? It's a skeleton in the water, and I don't have a bow and arrow. How do I... How do I not have a bow and arrow? 
whatever, it doesn't matter. We'll see what we can do here. Oh, oh I hear monsters below us because there's a cave system underneath us. And there's skeletons around. And there's zombies below us and stuff. Anyway, all right, let's see, where's that taiga biome? It's over here to the left, I think. I'm totally gonna not find my way back. And I wouldn't be surprised if I ran into a monster in here, simply because stuff spawned. Yeah, I hear zombies running around in here. But if we keep moving, we should be okay. Uh, did I turn left too much to get to this mega taiga? Nope, it's still in front of us. Alrighty, I obviously took a different way before because I had torches last time I was out here. I think I took the long way. Anyway, we're just going to sprint through this and see what we can do. So here we go. Let's look for some pods though now. Because this is the taiga. And the mega taiga is up here somewhere. Somewhere. We've been here before. A long time ago. And... There we go. There's some pods though in its natural environment. And that's what I mean is the natural environment. In. That was weird, okay. Because, you know, when I show you my texture pack stuff, that's one thing. But to actually see it is another. So yes, this looks very nice. I'm very pleased with how this turned out. Looks like leaves on the ground. Nice. I keep thinking we got skeletons, but we don't. So there's a cow up there. Alright, I wanted to check that out. There's something else I wanted to check out too in this world. In my practice videos. And I wanted to, um dig under my farm because there's a cave system I wanted to look at that maybe fight a few monsters because like I said I don't think we fought any monsters in this series there's only like an 8 episode series it was really short wow lots of things spawned in obviously we didn't come from this way because we would have seen them I think we came from this way yeah okay here we go let's see if we can find our way back without going in a big circle because if we go in a big circle we're going to end up oh look at I want to get a rabbit's foot what uh what oh do you see that leg that was like a 10 second leg. Very strange. Okay, there's another one. I'm trying to get a rabbit's foot because... Did I get one? No rabbit's foot. Alrighty, anyway, I'm getting turned around now because I'm really, really bad about getting turned around in Minecraft. We might have to climb a tree because I think we're going in a big circle. I think, I think, I think. Anyway, a lot more pods though. That's fun to look at. Um... We have to climb a tree because I can't find my way back here. Oh, no, there's regular forest. Oh, we're going to run in a, some low hanging branches. Can we go through here? I think. Oh, no, I think this is it. Right? Oh, this is a different pond. Oh, boy. See, I don't know where we are. It was like 200 and 500, so we're way off. Oh, I'm so bad. It's funny, too, because in real life, I'm really, 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 really good with directions. Like, you can spin me around. I can just look and sense the direction that we are. But in Minecraft, because everything is square, it's just terrible. Uh, I see more taiga, so... Oh, no. This is our backside of our house. All right. That's fine. And there's our steps we talked about earlier. Okay, so let's run over to... The, um, the other thing, the, what am I trying to say? See, this, that's why I got to practice talking while I play. Let's run over to the farm and dig down below and see if we can, well, we're going to lose it here. There we go. And see if we can get into this cave system. And then I'm thinking maybe, oh, I really want to kill that dog. Anyway, I'm thinking we might fight some phantoms. No, we're not going to fight any phantoms. I don't have the nerve for that. I'm just thinking if your phantoms come out, we'll just run down here to hide from them. I think you can do that, right? What's in here? There's a lot of nothing. I did not do very much. I spent so much time digging out the, um, digging out my storage area that I never really got to much else. Let's keep these open in case I got to run. Oh, yeah, there's a dog. Okay, so we can see my vegetable texture pack, though. I love the carrots. I'm actually pretty happy with this in-game. Nice. The potatoes are a little potato-y. All right, so somewhere under here... Oh, I got my donkey, too. Forgot about my donkey. Oh, look at that. Do I have anything in him? How do you... No, I don't want to ride him. 
I wanted to look at the look at the inventory. Oh wait, is it just E looking at him? No. Do you get on him and hit E? There you go. That's how you do that. Okay. Nice. Then you can jump. Donkeys. Oh wow. There's so much delay. Why is there so much delay? Oof. I might not live if I fight monsters with all this delay. Anyway, I'm thinking if we let it get dark for a couple nights while we're down in this thing under here. We might see some phantoms come out. I have nothing to lose if I die, I lose my stuff. I really don't care. Um, where was that cave system? I think it was this row. I think if we dig this up, somewhere down here, there's lava first, then there's a cave system down here. If I don't see it in a minute, um, we will just move over to the next row here. Hmm. Uh, I, when I found the right spot, it's right below us. It's like right below us, one level. So we'll just destroy this world a little bit. Again, it's just so I can practice talking while I do things here. Maybe it's this one. I know you're here somewhere. Is there like one? Oh, there it is. Okay, and how do I break my shovel? I don't have one. Oh, there's a shovel. I have stone tools? What in the world? I didn't do much of anything in this world. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Pay attention, turtle. Oh my goodness. Um, let's see. Isn't this the cave system? Because it's all lit up from lava. I remember that. But how do I get down there safely? Oh, I'm just going to keep going at it here. Alright, let's set this up so we get down safely. And, um, we'll just go for it. This will be our first cave exploration in this series. Because this was way back when I was scared of stuff. Oh, that's... Okay, we don't have... Mo or mob griefing is not turned off. So anything we do, like creepers, will blow us up. Because in my... <laughs> on the Paul Soros Jr. server... Mob griefing is off, so all I do is hold up my shield, and creepers are fine. Here, I don't know how to do this. Let's see. Oh my gosh, he didn't blow up? Oh my gosh, am I going to do this for once? Whoa, am I going to do this? I can't, oh my gosh, my first creeper ever, with a stone sword even, or I guess it's iron, and I didn't blow anything up. That's amazing. That's a big accomplishment for all of you who follow my channel. Oh wow, okay, I've never gotten creeper... The, oh, good, they keep out the sounds back in 113. Good. See this? That sound was gone in 113. That poisonous potato? I got one. Oh, yeah, this mutt. Zombies are all gonna. Oh my gosh. Whoa! What? Oh, my inventory's full. Come on. Carrot. Okay, what do we not need? Um, we don't need gunpowder. I don't want the carrot either, I want the flesh. Let's get the flesh, please, thank you. Okay, so, first time fighting monsters for me, and it's going okay. Um, let's see if I can get this creeper, though. I don't have enough room to back up, do I? Okay. Oh, he's gonna blow up. Yep. Well, can't win them all. I do know if you go around corners, it helps, too. Anyway, uh, can we get down here safely? We can. I can't believe I'm doing this, folks. I know this might not seem like a big deal to you guys, but this is incredible huge deal for me, and there's a creeper back here coming up. And we're going to run. What's my run key? See, I changed my run key. Oh, come on. Where are you? I saw you. There's a zombie down there. I thought... Where's the creeper party? It's a zombie party. Are they fighting each other? I hear more spiders. Anyway, this is my very first time single player exploring. I hear Enderman. Oh, what's going on? Get. How stuck in my book? Alrighty, how stuck in the book? That's okay. To me, I know if I really want to explore caves, I have to get everybody, light everything up as best as I can. And then, um, then you get all your resources. Goodness gracious. How many of you are down there? What? I guess I take a long time with the stone sword. What's going on? Is there another one coming? Whatever. 
Okay, no one can get me from there. So now I should go this way. Oh, and I don't... Oh, I do have a shield. Come here, dude. Come on, shoot yourself. Come on, shoot yourself. You can do it. Just go. Just get out of here. Good. See, there we go. Let's light this thing up. Oh, yeah, you can move faster 113 now through water. That's nice. And we're going to run out of torches sometime soon here. Good. All right. We're going to keep that like that. I don't think anything's going to come down and see us. Let's throw a torch up there. All right, so now, if you wanted to, you can start collecting resources. But we're not going to because we're not. We're just practicing fighting monsters. And it's dark outside. Good, good, good. So that means there's one night gone by, I think. Right? Let's see if there's any monsters up there that spawned on our farmland. Or out in the field here. Like over here that can come and get us. Yeah, a bunch of skeletons out there. At least we're pretty well lit up here, I think. So here's one night gone by. Is that an Enderman? There is. Alright, one night gone by. We'll see if we can get some phantoms, like I said. Unless we're not out of torches first. Any more torches? No. Alright, let's keep fighting stuff. This is a big deal for me, because like I said, in single player, I never, ever explored caves. I was too scared. So I've never done that. And then, um... Oh my. That's the guy that's yeah, he's got the boots. And... I just, I mean, I fought a couple monsters maybe in the series. Alright, let's get down here so we can get back up safely. There's just one block now, right? Yep. Okay, we'll go try to run out of torches here, which is very, very soon. And there's a creeper. And I don't think I'm going to do a good job with them because there's two of them. Run. Where's my run key? Maybe I shouldn't. It's going to blow up. No. Nope. Oh, shoot. I was trying to do that thing where you like swipe ten times, but that only works with a gold earth uh with a um with a what you call it, a diamond sword you can do that. Oh no, my sword's gone. What? I didn't throw my sword, it just broke. That's funny. I've never lost a sword before. <laughs> right. Uh, we have a couple more torches here. Then we'll get out of here. Um This looks like fun. Alrighty. Well, this is this a ravine? This is my first ravine. So I'm going to knock me off of here. Hey, look at that. My first ravine. Too bad I don't have enough torches to explore. But anyway, and we're not getting lost, so that's good. Very awesome. Alrighty, so that is my first cave exploration in single player. Because normally I just build stuff, you know. I don't really do much of this type of thing, but we did just now. And why is my donkey mad? Very cool. See, I've come a long way since a couple years ago. Because if you remember, after a couple years, I actually stopped playing Minecraft because I was too stressed out from all the monsters I would want to build and things would get you. And But now, you know, I've had a lot of practice. A lot of practice. I just have to um figure out how to remember my run keys. Because I, I used to have it on R. But then what would happen is I would, see I'm trying to practice, well I'm, I'm practicing talking while I play, while I build too. I used to have R as my run key, because my pinky can't move that quickly to get down to control or whatever. But then I would hit inventory instead of run, so I try to run from somebody like this and I hit inventory. And then I get blown up by a creeper. So then I moved it to Q, which is working, but I gotta get the coordination of moving backwards, right? Because you can run forward, and then when you move backwards, but you can't run backwards. So this is forward, and then you run. This is backward, but no run. I just have to get used to moving back and forth. So forward and back, forward and back, run forward, back. There's the Enderman. I really want to get that Enderman. Run forward, come back. I'm practicing going backwards. Going back. So you don't run backwards, but you keep running forward like this, right? Yes. They're slow forward. Why do I hear a spider behind me? I really want to get that Enderman. I really want to taunt him. So, should I build something up quick? Should I build something up? Let's do that. Well, he can take... He can take this stuff. Let's just taunt him a minute. As long as he stays there long enough for me to... 
build this up. Right, here we go. So if I go out like this, that should be enough, right? Is that enough? I go one more. One more. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do that. All right, here we go. Shovel. And please tell me he's still there. Good. Okay, here we go. Look at me. Here he comes. I don't know if I like this so much. Why aren't you coming over the fence? What? Why want to go over the fence? Is there too close to water? Why won't he... What? I don't understand this. What is... Why won't he come over to me? Oh, because of the farmland. What? Is he too close to farmland? What is... Is this a glitch? Because I can't hit him either. What the heck is this crap? Run. What the heck? Oh, he got me. Eh, come on. Zombies, you're in the way of the Enderman. What? I got him. He got me too, but... That was very strange. Alright, give me my heart back. Weird. Okay, I don't understand that at all. But whatever. We'll use that for the phantoms too, I guess. Alrighty, cool. So, this is, what, another night? We have one more night, or is this the first night? Anyway, I'm going to be cutting the video now, because I'm not going to sit here and ramble for 30 minutes while I wait for two more nights to go by. So, as soon as we get another night and some phantoms, I'll cut back in and we'll practice some phantoms. Or I'm cutting back before the third night, because I forgot that I actually had different textures for the seeds, too. I was expecting the green carrot seed thing, but I forgot I did textures for these, so it's kind of cool to see those come up. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to put that right there. And like I said before, we have an item now for the carrot, the texture pack, so I'm very pleased with, um, with how this texture pack is turning out. My add-on texture pack, that is. Mixing with Redcraft for right now. Well, layered on top. Let me get my wording straight. It, my add-on is layered on top of the red craft for now. And then um, I plan to have my own completely independent texture pack soon. Well, I so far so good. It's only been one night, though, and it's noon of the second day. So then we'll have the second night, and then we'll have the third night. Hopefully see some phantoms. I expect to die. I expect to die hardcore. I'm going to be some animals, because I can. It's been ages since I've bred animals. And, um... I was thinking of running over to that village. There's a village over that way somewhere. And past those trees, it's a field, or it's plains, and there's a village, which is really close. But back in the day, it was going to rain, which means monsters can spawn. But if we look down here, light level, actually, no, it's 11 because I got torches. If you get away from the torches... Gosh, this guy is going crazy. If I kill him, though, I get, I get 100 more dogs running over to get me, too. Anyway, actually, see, if you go down here, away from these torches, light level, yeah, see, it goes down in the rain. Anyway, um, see, I last track I was going to say, I am out of practice. I've been doing my flight simulator videos daily, but very different than Minecraft. Anyway, um, see, so yeah, there's a village over there, which for me was a very, very long walk, but it's actually very close. I have that flower biome over there, too, with all my new flower textures. It's kind of cool. Otherwise, it's going to be nighttime soon. I'm not going to sleep, because in the third night, we're going to try to play with some phantoms. Like I said, I will die. I expect to die when the phantoms come get me. You saw how bad I am at simple monsters, but I've been practicing my running. Got my running and walk backwards, running, walk backwards, running around. And my drop key is way over on J, the other side of my keyboard, so I can't accidentally drop stuff. And why won't you pick up my sword? There you go. Otherwise, well, nice. make another cut here, and we're just going to wait around, and I'll catch you in a moment. All right, the sun is down. Let's see what happens. If we come out here. I think you hear them before they come down on you, right? They don't just pop out. I'm not on any special blocks. I'm just on grass. And we have a sky above us. And nothing yet. Come on, guys. Now... This isn't new generation, 
since 113. This is my old world. So maybe I have to generate a new chunk in 113 for them to come get me. Or maybe there's just a chance that they'll come get you and not a guarantee. Or like I said, maybe it's actually the fourth night if you don't sleep for three. Hmm. Let's see here. Where are they? We have other hostels out there. Okay, I see what's going on. The light level has to be seven or less on the ground. So my light level right now is really high. What's this one? Yeah, so that's six now. Okay, so my light level is too high. That's why they're not coming to get me. Which is fine. So I guess that's kind of a good thing, though, because that would mean if you're in your own area and you haven't slept for many days, they won't come get you. Because your own light level would be high enough. So that makes sense now. We have a lot of stuff going on around us, though. Okay, well, these light levels are like six, seven, eight. So we should be able to get something, although unless it's too close to me, maybe they won't spawn because that's all right above me. You know what I mean? I don't know how far they have to be, but we'll try to get something going here. If not, we'll call it a day. Well, folks, I've been playing a while and um, still no phantoms. So I think my area is just too lit up to have phantoms come get me. So instead of waiting around and redoing everything, I'm just going to call it a day. For this one i've been recording this episode for a couple hours actually waiting for things to happen so anyway i got some practice in in this world i'm going to do one more practice in my other world and then we'll be all ready for 113 otherwise can't wait i'm sure you can't wait either and i'll see you then